This thing right here is a 24 hour saltwater bait vending machine. Let's take a look what they got here. We got whole mullet, shrimp, chilled night crawlers, chicken necks, bunker chunks, clams, silver size, blood worms. I guess you get them inside. I don't know what that's on the vending machine. Squid and pre cut squid strips. 10 selections each at their own price point, cash only. This thing is this thing is cool, man. Last time I did a video with the bait vending machine, you guys really liked it. That one was really cool. It was like a freshwater one. Now this is like total 180. This is salt water. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a challenge here today. Now, unfortunately, unlike the last vending machine, there is no live bait in here. If you guys haven't seen that video, man, go check that out. That thing, that was freaking crazy, dude. Yeah, pretty much what we were doing here, I put all these choices into a little spinner wheel spinner thing. As you see, you got all of them in there. Now I just put two squids in one. One squid box, one strip. I don't, whatever. It's just squids, so we got nine options. Let's not waste any time here. There's a bunch of people walking around. This actually looks like it's gonna start storming too. So that's a thing. Shout out to hers. First thing we're gonna be taking out of this vending machine here today is blood okay so to get the blood worm we actually have to go inside by the way i don't know if i mentioned this or not but we're going to be trying to catch saltwater fish on the base that we get out of this vending machine now i don't know really what's happening in the saltwater oh my gosh it is dude that rain is coming hold on we got to hurry this up here All right, so hopefully they have blood worms inside it's not really a vending machine thing but whatever it's in the vending machines on the vending machine spin it one more time here what do we got please don't be blood worms again please don't be like something really weird either okay silver side i think those are like little bait fish, saltwater bait fish. Kind of like a little anchovy type things. I don't, I don't know if we're gonna do anything with that or not. Hopefully I got enough cash, dude. All right, something I never used before. Silver side, let's put this in there. Hopefully this thing works. Like imagine. All right, there we go. Stay. 34, I, I can't, I think it says $5. Three, four. Am I good? Oh. Okay. First bait for the day. Oh, dude, what the heck? Yo, that is so sick. I got these dollar coins back. I don't know, man. That's, that's, that's kind of cool, though. So our first bait for the day. I'm not really sure. I don't know. <laughs> now, it's not in. Is, is that cheating? I don't know, man. I mean, it's on the vending machine. The wheel spun it. Let's go in there. Hopefully, they have some bloodworms. Like, I'm pretty sure we could catch some fish on bloodworms. I don't know. Like, what do, you, what do you even do with this, man? All right, let's see if they have any in here. Yep. What do you think? Like I could even catch. Did you catch a flounder? You think? Oh. Okay. So that rain is definitely coming. We got the blood worms. They were. I mean, blood worms are always expensive. But I feel like we definitely would catch something on those. Like I was actually saying too, flounder might go for these little shiner things. We might rig up a little flounder rig for those. I, I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully we catch the fish before. Look a little sus out there. My pockets are jingling, man. All of them could like give you one. Oh. My gosh, dude, there is a lot of people here. It does not, like, it is a gloomy day. I'm actually surprised. It's kind of like low ish tide right now. Pretty low there. It actually started to drizzle too. So that is a thing. Wow, there's a lot of people in the water. All right. Oh. Any luck so far? Yeah, so that would be good. All right, so this is where we're gonna be starting out here today. I'm gonna be jigging this structure, trying to hit some flounder. Oh, here comes the rain. Oh man, here comes the rain. <laughs> some chilly rain. Yeah, it does feel kind of good though. I mean, I can see a flounder eating this, but like I would never use this, you know, as my primary bait. Like I would never be like, yo, let's go fish for flounder. Let's use frozen. What even the heck are these called? I, I really want a flounder right now. I haven't caught a flounder in a while. Pretty much I've learned this is what a lot of people like to do at these piers. So the flounder love the structure, like those little, uh, I guess they're kind of big, the big posts that hold this whole thing up. Flounder like to chill around those and you know, under, oh gosh, that is rain. Ugh. <laughs> just one flounder, dude. Oh my gosh. This funny, man. The people at the end of the pier, like these are the hardcore people you can tell. So many people right now just started booking it out. Fish, I mean, they're already wet. Oh my God. Oh no. I had a bite there, now I'm snagged. No. Hold on, I gotta go get my bait. Dude, 
first fish of the day. Holy crap, I did not think I was gonna catch a fish on this. Tiny little, like, what the heck is that? Oh my gosh. <sighs> it's not a flounder. Chill, buddy. I seriously thought I was not gonna catch, okay, chill. I seriously thought I was not gonna catch anything on this little, what is this, silver side? There we go, big hook for that tiny little guy. Head of the bait fish still on there. Oh my gosh, dude. Stuck it out through the rain. The sun is sort of out-ish, as you guys can see, like it's not raining anymore. Whew, but there we go, man. First fish of the day. Tiny little snapper bluefish. Let's let this guy go. Thank you so much for biting, buddy. It's crazy to think about like, what was it? Like, a couple months ago, I was out here, standing over there actually, and we were catching, oh my gosh, I was catching some giant, <laughs> massive bluefish. And then in the summertime, catch those little blues. I see, I, I've been casting this around through the rain, through everything. I don't know, I think I might pitch these around a little bit more. I, I really want to get a flounder. This is exactly how I was doing it right here. Just put it through the mouth. Pretty much just Texas rig the little bait fish. And I just kind of hit it. Like that, dude, that, that actually looks, I mean, if I was a flounder. Again, man, that's just why fishing is so awesome. You really never know. I could have sworn that was like a little flounder right there that was biting that. All right, so yeah, one bait officially down. I think the bloodworms are gonna be like a lot. I think it's gonna be a little more productive here. Oh, I just got bit. What in the heck is that? Oh, oh dude. <laughs> I got excited, man. What the heck is that? Second species of the day. That is um, somehow that kind of got in his gills a little bit. Again, not a flounder. But we have a little black sea bass. This is actually a species of fish that I want to target, like the bigger ones. Oh, gosh. I've really only ever caught like these small guys. Let's get, like, get back in there. Apparently, that is like one of the tastiest fish that you can really catch in the ocean. So I think pretty soon I want to target like some bigger ones. Because they get, I mean, you know, pretty. Like decent size ish. Again, I mean, I was not expecting that, dude. Kind of tore it up a little bit. I'm really surprised I'm hooking these tiny fish with this giant hook. All right, same little rig. Going back out. Bongo. All right. So this is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna switch the uh, rod and rig up. Get some of these juicy, thick boys out. Apparently these just got delivered like yesterday. So yeah, man, we are switching up the gears here a little bit. Let me show you guys kind of what we're using here. So this is a little sabiki rig. Got a one ounce sinker on the bottom. There's a lot of people on the pier now. I'm trying to keep my voice down. But we got each sabiki tipped with a little piece of bloodworm. There are six little hooks on one rig, so. We're gonna see what we can catch out here. Hopefully there's some spot around because those things are so fun to fight. All right, so it looks like spot bite is on over here. I'm trying to catch some. I think we're gonna try to catch some sharks later. Oof. There's something. Holy. Oh, I came on. Oh yeah, there we go. What the heck is on there? Oh my god. Alright. That is a spot and that is gonna be hopefully catching us. Giant shark later. These things are freaking crazy. Oh, man. oh, that's a big one. Oh, geez. All right, that should be good for bait. Let's see if we catch anything else here. The spot are going crazy right now, though. It's like actually crazy how hard these spot fight. Oh, dude, it's almost. Oh, dude, it's almost instant. Holy crap! It's almost instant. I was casting too close the pier i looked over oh i dropped him yeah i was throwing it way too close to the pier those guys down there were like tripling up let's try to get a couple more here there's got to be some other stuff mixed in too Yeah, how about you? You don't mind just 
take a quick look at your fishing license. Yep, no problem. Okay. Thank, Thank you, man. These are honestly, these are such cool looking fish, man. That doesn't sound good. You hear that thunder? Oh, jeez. Last one. Let's get back there. Hey, do you guys want these? There's like four or five in here. Oh, are you done? Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. All right, yeah, I'm just dropping here. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. Whew, all right, y'all. We're heading back right now. I got three spot right here for bait. It's crazy because if you buy this like at the bait shop, I mean, it's probably like 10 bucks for just two spots. And those are frozen too. So these are, well, they're going to be frozen-ish, but yeah, I mean, they're more fresh than, you know what I'm saying? We're going to go on the beach later. Hopefully, I mean, this rain is supposed to stop. Tide is going to be coming in. Hopefully we can catch some sharks, dude. I've not caught shark fishing in a long time. Whew, all right, y'all. So it is like a lot later in the day, as you can see. It is not looking rainy anymore. We're about to go do this thing. Got the fish that we caught earlier. About to bring a big rod out there. Got the sand spike. Hopefully, man, we are going to be able to catch a freaking shark. That'd be so cool. I haven't caught a shark in a long time. Ooh, all right, dude. This is so freaking beautiful out here. Sunsets at the beach are always my favorite. All right, so what we are going to do. Here's one of those spots that we caught earlier. He's a little crooked. Oh, <laughs> super professional fisherman. All we're really gonna do <laughs> right there should be good. Bang, it's a little frozen, but uh, I think that's gonna work. Got a five out hook on here. I'm just gonna kind of hook it right like that in between the eyes. I think, I mean, should be some sharks out here. Now shark fishing in Delaware, there's like a lot of rules and stuff when it comes to sharks. Oh. See how that does in the thing right there. But yeah, there is a lot of prohibited species. If you go into Google and you just type in like prohibited shark species Delaware, there's like a giant list that pops up. And if you take those fish out of the water, if you like take too long to release them and everything like that, you can get fined, even if it's on video, even if you know it's just a picture on Instagram, on Twitter, anything like that. Whew. So yeah, man, we got the rod up and running. We got the piece of the spot on there. Now I've never shark fish with spot, I don't think. I just like, I really haven't caught a shark in a long time. So hopefully we get that accomplish here today and not break any rules. Oh, that's a fish. Okay. Okay. What the heck is that, dude? What the heck? Oh, yo, my drag is like not even that loose either. <laughs> what the heck? Holy crap. Oh, dude. <laughs> what the? It might be a ray, honestly. Dude, I have never heard the drag scream like that. <laughs> what the heck is that? Yo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Holy freaky crap, dude. That is... Oh, no, it came off! Oh my god. Yo, what the heck was that? That could have been a giant... Oh, dude, my heart's raising. That could have been a giant shark. Let's see what happened here. Could have been a big ray. Oh my god, I am... Yo. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Yo, he took me like... I'm like reeling the slack and he took me so far out. Yeah, no, it cut it clean. I, I think I got, that had to be a shark. Holy freaking crap, dude. It's crazy though, cause like the drag was tight. Like it's not like I had it all the way, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like if I would have tightened it anymore, oh my God. I can't believe that. <sighs> all right y'all, so after that, this, this, just, this is just freaking nuts, man. Here's the situation. So we got my boys out here, we got Jerry. What's up, dude? We got Zach. What's up, dude? And as we were like, we were walking down to come here to fish, as the sun's setting, I ran into my boy Blake over here. What's up, man? How's it going, dude? Yo, what's good? It was so random. Like, I was just walking and he's like, yo, do I, do I know you? <laughs> and we we're like, yo, come fish, man. So he's casting out a rod. I got that. Oh, dude, I cannot believe that, man. So we're gonna, I don't know, hopefully it comes back. I think it's a 
monster for sure. That thing was freaking Without nuts. Without a doubt. Dude. That was, oh, oh, yo, I'm getting bit. I don't have anything on there. Hey, what? Dude, that's about to hit your house, bro. Holy crap, dude. Yo, you're getting bit. Yo, you're getting bit. That freaking pie went right over us, dude. I just, it's like the fact that like, my eye burned. Oh, <laughs> like, what was that? Right over it, what the heck? <laughs> mosquito control. You said mosquito control. Is that safe to like, breathe? Big bolt print, do not inhale. <laughs> Will take 10 years off your life. <laughs> Yo, it burned my eye and my mouth. Like, it, it hit my tongue, and I was like, ow. That is very weird. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw that or not, but that airplane kept flying, like, over and back of us. It was a freaking, like, we read the sign. It said mosquito control. As it flew around, like, the second time, my friend Zach was like, yo, that thing's kind of spritzing something out. And then it, like, made my eyes and, like, my freaking mouth burn. So is that, like, safe or? Like, it was literally, like, I, I don't know, man. That's, that's very interesting, dude. Whew. All right, y'all that is gonna do it here for this video today. Thank each and every one of you guys for watching man I'm still over here at the beach. It is a little bit windy here today, but I hope to do some more stuff with salt water I've been having so much fun with salt water fishing this year as you guys know it's this is cool man like, you guys, I cannot believe I freaking lost that giant thing Let me know in the comments below what you guys think that was I think it might have been a big freaking shark or a ray But it like bit me off so I'm thinking it was a big shark Oh my gosh alright we're gonna have to do some more of that If you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to go down there Click that thumbs up button it really really would mean a lot to me If you guys do enjoy my videos but you're not already Make sure to go down there click that subscribe button And if you never want to miss an upload for me go down there hit that notification bell First of all I gotta give a shout out to my homie Blake We were kind of just walking to the beach to go fishing And he was coming back from the beach fishing and he actually turned out to be a subscriber so i was like yo come fish with us we didn't really catch anything but that one run was cool and we got sprayed by freaking chemicals i still don't know if that's like good or not also man i gotta give a shout out to jarvo if you guys want to win a shout out at the end of the next video all you gotta do man go down there leave a comment i'll be randomly selecting them you could get a shout out at the end of the next video but yeah man that's pretty much gonna do it here for this video today we actually went to the vending machine we got the two baits and we actually caught fish with both of the baits so that was pretty freaking sick we caught a big fish we did not land it we got sprayed by the chemicals this is just a great day man. so yeah i got some cool new stuff coming on the way just stay tuned man all i gotta say is thank you guys so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching. See you next video.